Hello, hello, and welcome once again, J76NY here, episode number 95 of our never-ending journey to beat the Japanese in the Dutch East Indies. It's day 148, the campaign, June 30th, 1942. It's the beginning of the day, so we've got lots of uh, time for air attacks in both directions. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to preemptively launch some... And we'll give them this. We're going to launch these guys, get them up to the front. My main purpose here is to keep them from getting anything into Singapore. They've just barely got the range, so... And I think that's probably about it. I've got a, a flight of 339s heading up to provide air cover for our carrier, because they just have swordfish. Uh... Not even sure these guys will have the right the range to get up that way, but they can get up to about there. That way, if anything comes down in this area, uh, we should be good. Uh, we're going to get these. Yeah, I'm going to leave the CW-21s alone for now, but the Hudsons, oh, they got range. Look at that. All right. Send them right up to the front line got plenty so we should have enough aircraft in the air up here that this area should be covered uh, cruiser group one is moving up to patrol up here they're probably going to be the worst off in terms of uh, taking attacks from their uh, air like I said before I give the computer the AI credit for keeping their carrier out of my sight and yet being able to hit me with their torpedo planes Really kind of a pain in the ass, but makes for a challenging day of gameplay. Cruiser Group 2 is one ship down, patrolling up here a little north uh, in a position to move down. Our subs are patrolling as well. Uh, Porpoise is heading back to rearm. We've got various supply convoys heading up here to Palembang. Um, next one should be enough to get us up to the at least level one airfield won't give us much but it'll give us something that we can provide air cover up in uh this area from palembang itself so sit back relax and enjoy episode number 55 or on the sea with the abdicom mod All right, so Sir Kouf has a target. It's this uh, boiler here. So we're going to take a shot at her. There's Sir Kouf out there. We're pretty close. Uh, what are we looking at? 70% solution. Got it set up for two torpedoes at a one degree spread. Well within range. Fire away, Sir Kouf. Yes, she did. They are banking pretty hard, so... Wish you could click on the torpedoes and uh, actually just follow the torpedoes like you can in uh, uh, U-Boat. I think you can do it in cold waters, too. It's actually a pretty bad angle to be hitting them, but as long as they hit and explode, I'll be happy. It's looking pretty good, so... Here we go, there's one. 
and two. All right, what kind of damage did we do here? Critical and critical? All right, I guess I'd say she's done. Yeah, I got sick of waiting. So we're going to put another torpedo into him. Down to one knot. Critical and critical on the damage. Doesn't look like uh, that's spreading too much. And now uh, look at this guy. Where's he going? So he didn't really feel like... Uh, really feel like hitting the target. I'm going to try... I'm gonna try this. Oh, we may not have to. Oh, well, she's got plenty of torpedoes. There you go. Manual fire. Zero on, one on a zero degree spread. Kinda hoping this uh, torpedo doesn't come back and hit me. That would suck. Or Sir Coof, right? This one looks like it's uh, kind of doing the same thing. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, well, that was a waste. This is what we're going to do. She doesn't decide to return fire at us. Come on. Open up, open up, open up. There we go. High explosive. The ship starts shooting at me. I'm going to be pissed. There we go. One round. That's all it took. All right, Sierra Coop, you can leave. Don't even bother uh, diving or anything. Just... Go ahead and cruise away. Sturgeon's turn, and despite Sturgeon's best efforts to let the enemy know where they are by shining their spotlight up into the sky, they're still maneuvering on a steady course. So, someone's asleep at the switch there and the watch stations. I guess we can count our blessings on this one. I've targeted this first one here. I actually was thinking about taking a shot at a couple of the other ones, but we're going to hit this guy first. Then considering these guys don't have any guns, we're going to pop up to the surface and shoot someone. Actually, only got a 17% solution on this Aratama Maru. Let's turn the radar on. Why not? Oh, we need the scope up, too. That would help, right? All right, let's get that scope up. I was buzzing along at top speed here. 29. 
Turn that radar on. This is a day of uh, day of sub action. I'm all right, blasting these guys with a deck gun for a little bit, as long as they don't shoot back. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to target number three with a kind of a snapshot there for a second. Turned a little bit. Not a very good solution, but that's all right. Or spotlight's not on. Forty-five percent solution. And that's all right. There's all three of them. There you go. Stop targeting you. Start targeting you. Da -da -da. This. I'm going to bother identifying them. Oh, why not? There we go. 38, 41, 44, 47, and fire. We'll wait till they start hitting to uh, pop up to the surface here. Right, two out of three hits. That's okay, I guess. Get you up on the surface, my friend. Get you turned. You can see our other torpedo went off uh, yonder. It's decided, same as the uh, Sirkoof's torpedo, didn't really want to... Uh, didn't really want to engage there, so here we go. We're going to start blasting them with the deck gun. Pretty sure nobody has any gun, so. Also not in arc of our guns, so <laughs> we got to turn a little bit here. There we go, that ought to be good. I guess we could slow down a little bit. There we go. That was a nice hit. That wasn't a nice hit. She's maneuvering now, so... Throws everything out of whack when they do things. Liking the results so far. Critical, critical, minor, none. What we need is a cargo explosion. That would be nice. Check this guy. He's dead. Oh, we got some fires started. Uh, she's going 14 knots. We're only going 13, so let's bump up our speed a little bit. Just run right alongside her. Fun to watch. I'm enjoying it. Ah, there we go. Nice. 
like how that worked out. Critical, critical. Another one. Great, there's one. Wait, now there's two. Alright, well, let's catch up with these guys out here. Uh, we'll target you. Another one of the, uh, Arakama Maru, I think it is. Or, uh... Well, where are you? This guy here. Another one of these. 1,800 yards. Yeah, we'll catch up with him. Won't be a problem. And there we have it. 
after quite a while of chasing and shooting the ever. Still got a deck or uh high explosive and armor piercing left too. I did get a little impatient. I launched a couple torpedoes at him. All of which missed. So that's okay, I guess. But yeah, Sturgeon and her deck gun. That's what she can do. As long as no one's shooting at her, that is. So Sturgeon's gonna get a little painting on her superstructure for this one for sure. Alright, I think this is actually the first time I've shown the uh, strategic map since the beginning of the episode. It might be a little bit of a shorter episode today. I'm kind of working on time constraints here. Uh, because of all the submarine action in this area, I think that uh, it would be a wise assumption to go with that they're going to start hitting us once again with their uh, carrier aircraft. So I kind of want to have... Oh, these guys up. They can't get all the way up to the uh, front, but they can provide some form of air cover to the uh, air group here. Uh, we're just going to launch everything we have on a patrol pattern so they're up. So, up and armed. That's what counts. We're uh, buzzing through here and seeing what we can see. Oh, they're not moving at all. Not cool. What happened to your patrol pattern? Alright. There's that. Sturgeon's patrolling. Sorry's patrolling. Salmon's patrolling. Porpoise is heading back to rearm as is Sirku. Our subs are stealing the limelight tonight. And Hermes has a bit of a problem here in perfectly timed airstrike by the Japanese. They return to rearm and are out of position to defend them from these fighters, which uh, could be a bad thing. Uh, we don't have any airplanes at all in here, so yeah, this could be a problem, but we'll fight it. Can't get out just yet. So hopefully Hermes uh, and her escorts can take care of themselves on this one. Don't see the Hermes as much. Kind of a nice looking ship here. Alright, what do we have? We have... Uh, we have got some zeros that are going to come in on a strafing run. Four zeros coming in on a strafing run. There's more out here. So it's unfortunate, but the trying to figure the best way to fight this one would be. Yeah, they're already coming in on us. Start turning. Give them a smaller target and bring more of our guns to bear on them as they come in. Go up a bit. Uh, there's a lot of them. So far, 12. Sixteen. Yeah, there's probably about, if I were to guess, 24 to 36. break vampire off here bring her around we're gonna have to shoot the Hermes guys god Let me 
enemies has damage. Uh, Hermes is on fire. This isn't good. I don't like our carrier being in this area, that's for sure. I think that's all of them. Oh, got one more left. What else do we have coming at us? You know, the next thing is going to be torpedo bombers, and we're kind of screwed here. Okay, it doesn't look like any, uh, any major damage here, so we're going to bring everyone to a stop and get the, uh, get the damages on Hermes fixed. All right, we got everything fixed on the Hermes and the Vendetta, so we are good to go. Uh, we only shot down two of their aircraft. Um, really hoping our cap gets up there pretty quick. I may actually pull Hermes back. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably be a good idea. Pull her back a little bit. It's going to be a while before those guys get up there, so I don't really want to... Uh, be fighting off torpedo bombers, although I am pretty sure it's going to happen. Uh, Task Force 25, Ohio. Fuel, supplies, fuel, and more fuel. Uh, they need the engineering. Um, it's going to be a while before that gets there. Groups, engineering, engineering, and then our supply convoy down here. Oh, where are they? There they are. Supplies and engineering. These guys are heading back. They're going to pick up uh, what they can down in Darwin. Is um, I'm going to pick up everything engineering. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's somewhat abrupt episode. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you have any tips or advice, leave those in the comment section below. If you want to follow along as we enter day 150 of our Abdicom campaign on War on the Sea, hit the subscribe and come with us. And we'll see you for the next episode. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.